all right guys this is my first attempt at making a video you guys have been so awesome to me I've learned a ton so I thought I'd kind of try to give back a little bit um, just kind of introduce you to myself my name's Roger this is my shop uh, me and a buddy of mine built it all except for the brick I had the brick done by a, another fireman buddy uh, he did an amazing job it's a 30 by 40 put concrete hardy backer siding on it uh, hopefully will last forever Puppy's around here somewhere. There he is. It's a Conicorso, Conicorso Mastiff. It's a pretty good dog. Pretty smart. And amazingly strong. Are you a good boy? Yeah. Anyway, uh, take a little tour around my shop. It's, I'm still trying to finish the inside of it. Um, Got all my insulation here. I've started putting a little bit in. You can see there. Um, just got my heater in. Seems to work pretty good. Of course, now it's summer, so not using it much. Small TV, plan on putting a big screen up on the wall. Um, put a jack shaft in. That's this little box up here. Basically, it allows me not to have uh, have all this center space up here free and you can see I've got a lift in here it's a two post I didn't want to have a controller right there in the center getting in the way of my vehicles going up so got some storage space up there uh, obviously tools there's the <clears throat> hood to my Camaro 68 Camaro I've stripped down. Um, hopefully for too long I can get get to working on it. But as you can see I've got a lot of um, insulating to do. Put these wall put these lights in the wall here. I was hoping they would help for doing body work. They seem to work pretty good. Like I said, I don't know if they might be a little too high. I, I don't know. I put a fan in over here in the wall. A kind of a paint booth. And um, again, I don't know how well that'll work. So far on small projects, it works pretty good, but probably for a big, <clears throat> big project, it may not be enough. I just put my bathroom in back here. And I gotta finish it up, obviously. A little bit of insulation in there. Got me a sink. Gotta finish the walls out on it. There's my welding table I built. Had it powder coated. Works out pretty good. Obviously it's a junk table right now. But uh bought me a little paint gun washer. Um should work pretty good when I start doing some of that. So, my air compressor over here, it's a pretty good one. I paid about 1300 bucks for it. It's supposed to have a 50,000 hour capacity on it. It's 15.2 uh, CFM, so hopefully it'll keep up with everything I need it to do. Um, sand blaster. Called the bad boy. I picked it up off Craigslist. Got my little 110 welder that I, for body work. Another big junk table. I picked it up on Craigslist. Uh, put some eighth-inch rubber on the top, and uh, it's pretty good for everything. I love it. I use it all the time. Obviously, um, Arbor Press. I've got an old. Apple vice that I restored it was all rusted out. Um, can't buy anything like the American-made stuff anymore. So um, I try to 
buy all old American stuff that still works good. Same with this, my bench grinder or pedestal grinder. I built a pedestal. Um, couldn't find one of the, the original ones, so I just made one that looks like the original one. This one's a Thor. It's made back in the 30s, I believe, or 40s, something like that. Uh, so I restored it, and it works fantastic. Love it. So that's a little bit about my shop. Some more Camaro parts I've got up out of the way. I said I got a lot of work to do still, so. But hopefully I'll be able to get on this Camaro before too long and uh, start sharing some videos. I've had this for about 12 years. Um, it's got a 396 big block, four speed car, 373 gears. I'm not sure what I'll go back with. Um, whoever did the body work on it years ago when I bought it did a horrible job. Here you can see they've just packed it full of Bondo. Um, and on the other side over here, I grinded away a little bit on it. What they did, they pop riveted the rear quarters on. I've never seen anything like that. And then they filled it with Bondo. That's probably a quarter inch thick Bondo right there. So the car looked amazing when it was all together, but once I started doing body work, I actually started working at a, a shop doing body work uh, for a couple of years and learned how to do it so I could restore this. Found a bunch of rust bubbles here and um, I'm probably gonna have to replace the top. I thought I could just grind them down or whatever, but then once I figured out, you know, rust from the inside takes off and it's way worse than what you think. Just seen a couple of little rust bubbles. So I thought, well, I'll cut that out, put a patch in there, and now I'm thinking I'd probably be safer just to um, put a whole new roof on it. Um, <clears throat> any suggestions? I'm, I'm wide open. Again, I'm still learning. Um, you guys have taught me a ton. But uh, there she is. And uh, pretty much I built this shop just to, just to work on and restore this old car. Uh, I've always loved hot rods. Um, obviously now I've got a lift. I get tons of other people that I get to do stuff for, but, but that's all right. I enjoy it. So that's it. Uh, like I said, I'll I'll make some more videos when I start trying to restore that, and you know I can get some of you guys' comments and suggestions and stuff, and help me out a lot. So. But she's a mess right now. The shop is, um, like I said, I've got a bunch of insulation I still have to put up and all my sheetrock and everything. So um, it'll be a little bit before I can get on it. But uh, here's a pop cooler I just picked up not too long ago. Uh, guy gave it to me and said uh, the compressor was out. And so I put a new compressor in it. It's been pretty humid, so right now it's. Of course, I got the necessities in there, obviously. Got some beer, some Gatorade, some different stuff. And then I love cold candy bars, so I got a whole box of those. So, anyway, um, like I said, I appreciate everybody that uh, posts videos on YouTube. They've helped me out tremendously, so um, I'll talk to you guys next time.